Tom Blake, syndicated columnist and the author of the book Middle-Aged and Dating Again, has some great advice for people dating the second or third time around. Tom, good morning. Good to see you. Hi, Matt. Do you think the rules are very much different in your 50s than they were in your teens, 20s, and 30s? When you think about it, some of us haven't had a date in 30 years. You bet they're different. Uh, a widow, 55 years old, she's been with the same man for 35 years, and all of a sudden she's going to go out and date? Oh, my gosh, it's intimidating. It sounds a little bit like a word we have to mention early on here is baggage. I mean, that can be positive or negative. Well, baggage, we all drag a lot of it into relationships, and the problem is we're set in our ways. Hard to find somebody compatible when you've got so much baggage. And as a matter of fact, one of the gentlemen in that piece said, I'm looking for someone who's not abusing substances. You can hear in his voice or what he says, he had a bad experience in the past. So it's much more difficult when you've had some bad experiences, death, divorce, to open yourself up the next time around. Sure, because you have a fear of loss and a fear of a lot of things. Uh, when, we're, when we're this age and we come into the singles bit, a oh, fear of going out, a fear of being rejected, uh, we've gained weight, we've aged, and, and we're afraid. And it's, it's, it's difficult. Does really maturity is. mean a, a lack of game playing? We, we kind of hinted at it at the piece. Do you find fewer games being played among this age group? Matt, we should, but unfortunately you still have the game players. I think the people who are most successful in relationships are the ones that communicate, are open, they're honest, and they try to forget the games. But there's a lot of games that are played, yes. Sex, okay. Sex. How important in, in getting into the rules about dating over 50? Well, the thing that we have to remember about sex, when we were younger, we had a fear of pre pregnancy and things like that, but now, my gosh, there's HIV can lead to AIDS. And why would you invest your entire life and take a chance on a Russian roulette and ruining. We, we may live for 40 more years. As a matter of fact, you know, that, that sexual baggage is another issue. There are people who could have come out of a relationship that was not great sexually, and now they're perhaps not prepared to enter a, a different kind of sexual relationship. I think among the people our age, they kind of feel, well, we're too old to get this.